Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome and welcome back. How are you? We are doing good. We decided to take you on our journey around where have we have been here in Kenya. We're actually in Diani and yeah, we're going to show you around. All right, let's go. By the way, those who don't know, this area, this area is called Diani. You know, Diani is like a 30 minute drive from Mombasa. And it's, it has been voted like the third time in a row as the best beach location in Africa. That's crazy. Just Google Diani. Diani Beach or Diani Kikunda or Diani Kenya. You see this place. It's just magnificent. Apart from that water behind us. On that road. <laughs> that needs to fix this road. But they make the roads a lot around here. Like the roads to the beaches are nothing like this. They really do a good job on them. I don't know what's happening with this road. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just said it. It's just the rain and uh, that's what you expect to see. And around the neighborhood. But when you go on the beach, it's different. Even on the beach, when it's high tides, even just the main roads. Yeah, so, yeah. Even the high tides, when the high tides are high, you may think this is not the best beach in Africa. <laughs> but when high tides are low, like as of this month until Jan, the oh beaches God. are beautiful regardless of the high tides. High tides are everywhere, depending on what time of year it is. Today's video is sponsored by this amazing lodge. 
It's called um, Kijani Cottages. It is here in Diani, Kenya, which is an amazing beach town <laughs> in Kenya. Um, this place is an eco-friendly place. It has beautiful trees. It's like nestled right in the forest. It has beautiful trees. It has monkeys everywhere. There's birds. They have chickens, dogs, cats running around. Just everything you would think of when you think of like eco-friendly. It is beautiful. There are these little small cottages that you can stay in. Some are room enough for two people. Some are room enough for three or more people. Um, they also do have um, dormitories where multiple people can come and stay. Um, it's really a nice place to visit when you come. Um, they have a pool table, as you can see. They have a bar. They have these cabanas where you can relax and chill at the poolside if you want to go swimming. You can have a drink. You can have a meal. Like It is really a nice place to come to. Um, we really enjoyed ourselves here. Um, if you're really interested in knowing more, you should check out um, Kijani Cottages. And you can also um, check out their Instagram, which is Kijani Cottages as well. Um, we will definitely leave all their information in the description box below. And if you ever are in K uh, Diani, Kenya, you should definitely check out. Okay, we're going off to, to the only mall in Diani. You know, I just want to show it to you. <laughs> the only mall in Diani, so... It's kind of little. It's so. kind of so little. It's a one-shop mall. But that's the thing about Diani. Diani is like a tourist town. Yeah. I mean, of course, there's people who live here. Mm. And it's like retirement, chill, mm. it's beautiful, the mm. beaches. It's, it is. It's a beautiful town, but... I don't see them having a huge mall here. <laughs> it's limited. It make it. <laughs> it's so limited when it comes to things. Yeah. And the only big shop, there are like two big supermarkets here. One is called Carrefour, mm -hmm. another is called uh, Nivers. Nivers, which and is all, right. all over Kenya. Yeah, it's all over Kenya. It's, yeah. a, it's a big franchise. Okay, guys, see you around. That's a chapati girl. <laughs> oh, wait, you with the Chapati guy. For sure. Honestly speaking, this market has at least everything you want to live in this yeah. town, you know. We won't really tout. Yeah, they have everything. They have everything. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think three Chapatis. When it comes to blankets, and mattresses, TVs, it's a lot of juices behind me, you can see. You know, food, food, food. butter, meat. Everything. There's nothing they don't have. They always get me every morning because they sell the best chapati ever I've seen in town. I'm not in town, even in the whole country. It's beautiful. That was the shopping time from Nivers. Kunda. area where we are has those local restaurants you know restaurants where you can buy a chapati food, local food you know the kind of the person who likes local because uh, they're convenient they're really nice and the prices are not that bad and the food is not really bad so you're here take them out and that, that's the same road that goes also to the beach behind us it goes straight all the way to the beach straight to the beach and there's a big, big, big Maasai presence here. You know, when it comes to mostly Maasai men. I don't want to say Maasai men and women, but realistically, it's Maasai men. There are so many here. And most of them are selling jewelry, old Maasai clothes. Nice shoes. Nice shoes. Craft, nice crafted shoes. Mm -hmm. You know, the 
beach, the tourists, you know, there's various things like tours, if you want to do boat tours, snorkeling, diving. It's a lot because it's a beach town and uh, quite impressive. The water was so clear and blue. What is so crystal, it's crystal, beautiful. crystal blue? The sand is white. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. true. <laughs> The sun is impressive. Sometimes when you, it's the first time to see it, you may think you may relate it to kind of like sugar, you know, because it's too, I could say it's thin. Mm -hmm. I could say that the sun texture is thin, so something it's like that. Light. Yeah, it's so, so beautiful, so, yeah. so beautiful. Not really thick. Yeah. Impressive. All right.